let's take a look at one of my absolute favorite ways to catch crappies when I'm ice fishing. What's going on everybody? My name is Brian, you're watching Angling Anarchy. I have a bit of a cold, so you'll have to excuse that, but we're gonna take a look at this cool little setup that I've been using for, gosh, probably 10 or 15 years now. I don't know how long they've had these out. This little guy here is an Arctic Warrior. It is my absolute favorite way to set up rods for crappie fishing. I like them better than tip downs. I like them better than just about anything out there. They're super simple, uh, very effective, and we're going to take a real quick look at uh, how to set them up, and then I've got some footage of catching some fish on them that we'll look at after that. So as I said, this is a very simple setup. You have the base. There is a little bracket that actually Velcros onto the rod that helps this sit on the base. You've got your flag. And that's pretty much it. Simply put, you lower the flag down to the little finger on this bracket. There's a little divot right there. Now the divot you can use for when you want there to be a lot of tension, like say if you're pike fishing, so that it takes a little bit for that flag to pop. But in this instance, we're talking about crappie fishing. So what I do is I just barely catch that loop on that little finger and then it takes hardly any pull and it pops it. So now you're thinking, okay, what happens once it pops? Because right now it would be a problem. What you can do is, and this is what makes this so nice, is you can open up the bale of the reel, you can set this like so, and now when the fish trips the flag, Come on. Uh, free spool. And away she goes. And you can run over, flip the bale, grab the rod, and set the hook. It is, it's so effective. I spent so much time early on when I was ice fishing missing fish on tip-ups. And it turns out a lot of those fish were crappies. Because the resistance of most tip-ups when that crappie takes the bait is such that they'll they'll drop it. With this, once they've popped the flag, uh, like I said, there is zero resistance because that line is in free spool uh, and they can just pull it right out. Um, the other nice thing about these is this base folds down into a really uh, small compact piece of equipment and you can carry four or five of these around, no problemo. I've got rods that I have especially for this. I find that ones that are a little bit stiffer will trip the flag a little bit better than something uh, a little bit lighter that you would typically use for pan fishing. So just a little bit stiffer, maybe like a medium light instead of a light or an ultralight action rod is really good for this. I have ones that I just keep these little brackets Velcro to all the time. The nice thing about the Velcro is you can use rods for jigging, pop them on here. You can use them for multiple different uses. So uh, you don't have to have rods that are bespoke for this, but I certainly like having them. Now with that, hopefully we've gone over this enough that it makes sense. We'll take a look at what the, uh, these little guys look like in action. Somebody playing around with the old Arctic Warrior over there. Come on, trip it. There she goes. Let's see what we got here. What are you? What do we got? 
got? What do we got? What do we got? Oh, look at that. <laughs> That's what we're looking for. Cool. All right, that's a start. Jamie's got one over in their spot, way over there. Got a couple hits over here. Looks like we're finally on the fish a little bit. Good. Oh. Let's see what we got here. Just going down out here. There we go. What do we got? Looks like it's fighting a little bit better. Yeah. Get down there. Give me some help. Come on, big crappie. Walter. Walter. Ooh. Come on. Nah. Yeah, it's probably a 13 or 14 incher. Well, that's something anyway, I guess. Hey, you got forceps? Oh, I might be able to get this. Stop it. I think he's short. Fourteen and a half. What's that? Fourteen and a half. Just had a warrior trip out here, taking line. Nice crappie. Woohoo. That's awesome. Oh, there he goes. Oh, yep. Maybe we'll hang on to it this time. There we go. Ooh. Ooh, nice slabber. Just popped off. Ooh, there we go. What? Yeah. yeah. All right, well, there you have it. Some nice crappies and a walleye uh, from a couple years back, but these little guys i don't do a ton of ice fishing but when i do i always have these with like i said they shine for crappies uh they're amazing for walleyes they're a lot of fun for pike i've done a couple videos where we use these for pike even so big to small these things cover it all if uh, you have any questions about how they work when it gets really cold out and the, the line freezing in the hole if it's monofilament and the line freezes in the hole it doesn't take much pressure to for that fish to pull it right through um, and then usually what I do is just kind of beat the ice out of the hole when I go over there to set the hook the foam hole covers with the slit in the, the hole in the middle you know they're about 10 12 inches around slide them over pack them uh, with snow and ice and they keep the holes nice and open and work really well with these so that is an option too if you get some really cold weather and you're worried about the line freezing in the hole I hopefully I covered everything if you have any questions about these guys leave them in the comments below I'll leave a link uh, for where to get one of these if you would like to try one and yeah have fun out there ice fishing it's coming up really soon if not 
already by the time you watch this. So uh, be safe out there, have fun, and thank you everyone for watching this. I appreciate every single one of you, and I'll see you on the next video.